Hey girls, welcome back. I know it's been a few weeks. We moved from, we literally moved a half a mile <laughs> into a different condo, but you'll notice the background's gonna be a little bit different. I still have my like closet piece, but we're not gonna have any more green wall. And I did get a new mirror for try on. So I'm gonna try that out today for a different style. And I was requested to do a winter, well, fall and winter Amazon try-on. So that's what I'm doing. Everything behind me pretty much is from Amazon, except for maybe a couple things. A lot of the pieces are brand new. I'm trying them on for the first time. They just arrived in the last couple of days. And some pieces I've had for even like a year or two and some people's pieces I've had in the last couple months. But I'm gonna be showing sweater dresses, dress it, or sweater dresses are dresses. I'm gonna be showing sweater dresses, sweaters. Um, yeah, just different Amazon clothes. I have to say that Amazon can be hit or miss for me. I have found pieces that I love. Like if you guys have watched my channel, you have seen this pink cardigan and I've actually been meaning to buy it in another color and I have it. Like I really want a black cardigan yet I haven't purchased this in black yet, but I did buy a different black one I'll be trying on today. So I have pieces like this that I love, like it's one of my favorite pieces in my closet. And then I have things that come from Amazon where I'm like, really? Like the quality is just so poor. So I think we're gonna have a variety today. I think we're gonna have some misses and I think we're gonna have some yays. And if you have been here, following me then you know that that's how I like to do try-ons I like a lot of it to be new like my first thought as well and yeah if you're not new my name is Carrie I started this YouTube video at the beginning of this year just this YouTube channel at the beginning of this year and I've just been doing different try-ons I've never done an Amazon try-on before so I'm gonna stop rambling and get started oh but remember everything's linked down below if you want to purchase anything and all my sizing and all that will be linked down below as well so let's get started so the first piece we are starting out with is this pink sweater dress I actually picked this up in I think an orange color too but this is a very lightweight sweater dress as you can see it has the like pretty thick ribbing going all the way down it's pretty good lengthwise I'm wearing a size small I went ahead and just paired it with a tan pair of heels obviously booties would be an obvious choice so I wanted to put on something different it has a turtleneck effect. I actually have it triple folded. You could just do it as a double, but it was pretty high up. So this just worked better for me. The sleeves are not cuffed. This is how they are. They're a little bit of a balloon sleeve. Oh, there's Shay back there if you haven't met him. Um, but yeah, this is super soft. I would definitely recommend this if you're just looking for an easy sweater dress and it comes in so many colors. I have this same dress in orange. So it's exactly the same. It's just a true, true pumpkin color, I would say. It's a true orange. Um, I did the neck the same way. I'm still wearing a small. I did go ahead and pair it with just a white pair of sneakers. So these are actually from Amazon, even though they're Reebok, they're kind of like a vintage pair. And I have to say, I just got back from Charleston and I was wearing these around for hours and they were so comfortable. I'm going to be honest, they're not as comfortable as my Madewell white sneakers, but they're comfortable. Like they didn't cut my feet. Nothing happened negatively. It's just that I would say the, maybe my Madewell ones are just more broken in though as well. So I don't know if you are looking for a white pair of sneakers and you kind of like this vintage look, I would check these out. They're on Amazon for, I want to say they're like 40 something dollars. So that's a really good deal. Whereas the Madewell ones are more, I think like 90. So I get eight and a half my true size. But yep, just the same dress. Like I said, there's a ton of colors. I think I even ordered the gray, but it got delayed. So you know how sometimes with Amazon, it says like, oh, your package is delayed and then it never shows up. 
I think that's what's happening with the gray one, which figures, because that'd probably be my favorite color. All right, I absolutely love this next look. So I don't know about you guys, but when I was growing up, you were not supposed to wear black and brown together. It was just a no-no. And you couldn't wear navy blue and black together. I don't know. Just random things. I don't know if it was a private school thing. But anyways, I... This bodysuit is from Amazon. The skirt is not. I just didn't really buy bottoms from Amazon. I did buy a couple pairs of black pants. Um, not even for this try-on, just for a personal reason, but only one pair came in so far and like I wouldn't even show them to you. They were so bad. So this brown bodysuit, super thin, like super lightweight. It is so good. It's very lightly ribbed. I'm wearing a medium, which is what I always wear in bodysuits. And it has three buttons at the bottom and it is a full bottom. So it's not a thong. And then this skirt is from Nordstrom by Good American. It's kind of a splurge, but it is the softest, um, skirt because it's vegan leather and then I just paired it with a pair of black pumps. I kept the same black skirt on but I paired it with this Amazon sweater. So now this sweater is not new. I bought this last year. I love it. It's a classic tan sweater. It has the same like design on the neck, the arms, and then on the bottom. As you can see, it kind of has that ribbed detail down there, and then it goes back to your normal knit. So if I untuck it, you can see how long it is. So if you wanted to style it with jeans, I mean, maybe leggings, it does have a little bit of length on it. I just like to do the tuck. So I kind of tuck the bottom into the bottom of my bra and that gives it that look that I had before. And then you won't see that part at all. But I just, I have another sweater from Amazon. This is one I picked up in the last month or so. I actually have it in brown also. I think I bought... I think I bought this color first and then I went and purchased it in brown because it's so comfortable and I've heard di different people say that it's like similar to free people like there's a free people one that's just like this I don't have it but I've seen it where it has the similar sleeves and the similar neck and this is one of those pieces from Amazon that is so impressive so impressive like the quality is amazing it's soft it's not itchy I just love it has a slit on the side I'm wearing a small and then these pants I'm wearing are actually from a local boutique in my hometown but how cute are they with the distressing at the ankles and then I just have on some black booties Next piece I have is a white long sleeve waffle top. Um, I guess these are called a Henley, right? This is super comfy. I'm going to have to check if I'm wearing a small or a medium. I'm going to guess that I ordered it in a medium, but I will have it listed below for you. Um, I don't know how crazy I am about the black buttons. I kind of wish they were just white or clear, but it's a super comfy top. Like if you're looking for just a basic long sleeve top, I'm going to let you see how long it is. It is really, really long. So, I mean, you could do it with leggings if you wanted to. I just paired it with skinny jeans and like really light cream booties, but obviously white sneakers would be super cute as well. Next look I have for you is monochromatic, going all black, even though the jeans are lighter black. They almost look like a gray. Uh, the sweater is from Amazon. It's definitely not as comfortable as the previous tan one that I sent felt like a free people. Man, that made no sense. It's not as comfortable as that tan one that I said looked like a free people sweater. Um, it's maybe like a tad itchy, but I'm like super sensitive. So I really wouldn't say that it is. It does have a striped look. It definitely has like that longer fit in the back. I just paired it with a pair of black mom jeans and black booties. Um, the neck does have some vertical lines to it here as well. Thought I would just flip the camera around so you could maybe see the detail of the neck a little 
bit better. I'm also wearing this in a small. Next new Amazon piece I have is this cardigan. So it has four big buttons. It's pretty oversized. I think you call these like a grandpa cardigan or something. Um, this is a small and you can see like it's pretty slouchy um, and just super long sleeves. I kind of like it with just the one button open, almost kind of letting it fall off the sleeve. <laughs> I kind of got lazy and didn't put any shoes on, but obviously like a little tan booty would be cute. I just have it paired over a brown tank top. This is actually from Amazon as well. Um, I'm going to just undo the buttons. It's like a little crop top. I had wanted a brown crop top. It's always fun doing this stuff with one hand. So you could see it's just a little brown crop top. It's ribbed and it kind of has like a v-neck design. I'm wearing a small, but I just wanted a little brown one. Sometimes when I want something specific, it's just easy to find it on Amazon. And then if it works, it's like, yay. Um, but obviously you could pair this cardigan over white or like any maybe other tan colors as well. Okay, so I've decided to stop there for today. I do have quite a few more Amazon pieces, but it's starting to get dark. Like it gets dark after five o'clock now. And I feel like I'm still trying to figure out filming with this mirror. So I realized this video wasn't the best quality wise with the filming because I just if you know my videos, you know, I usually film like this where I'm in front of the camera. So I might have to move things around in the room to go back to that. Or I just need to get better with the camera in the mirror. But either way, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found something you like and I'll see you girls really soon.